नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटल एज अ पार्ट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट एंड यू नो वेदर यू से इट एज रिक्वेस्ट वेदर यू से इट एज मोटिवेशन वॉट एवर इट इज वॉट एवर दैट I have been doing so far this video recordings or uh, whatever you say you know I also need certain kind of motivation at first place and secondly I am doing it because I wanted to give it back to the society I also spent lot of time and burn more energy as well just give that small bit of it or the you know, small part you know where you know if you could really think that yes whatever he is telling let's try listening to it and give that small bit of support it could be cash or kind or whatever it is if you can donate small bit of it my channel would be really thankful to you and i would be able to produce much better results it's a request and i also commit mistake and mistakes as well i am also normal human being please do correct if you think that i have committed mistake i am telling wrong at any place please do correct me you can always call me on my phone number 9121379100 this is what is my gpay number as well and the phone pay number also is the same if you see though i am sharing those details with you and in case if you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to send it across to the email address of n a r a d l a r a m a c h a n d r a at the rate yahoo.com or simple smith123846 at the rate gmail.com small part of donation whether it is cash whether it is kind whether it is help or whatever it is will really motivate individuals like me to do videos like this i appreciate your patience i thank again for watching my videos in advance please do like subscribe share stay blessed have a real blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead
नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटल इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई वाज टेकिंग द सब्जेक्ट मच फर्दर बाय एक्सप्लेनिंग द कॉन्शियसनेस सेट एडवांस्ड लेवल talking about the time and space reference and point of change and uh, actions and experiences that uh, reflect our self image now let's try getting the subject to the level wherein i was talking in my previous video again consciousness uh, Uh, cosmic consciousness center for uh, cosmic consciousness unity with whole and transcendence and intuitive and metaphysical existence portal to spiritual world psychology neurology spirituality or philosophy or perceptions of uh, time and uh, reality which i was speaking in the Yeah, in much further in my uh, previous video about the consciousness is not limited by time and space, and uh, you know actions and experiences are reflections of self-image, right? In detail, let's try understanding what exactly I meant over here to start with. अस्य श्री शुद्ध शक्ति माला महामंत्र से उपस्थ इंद्रियादि वरुण आदित्य ऋषि दैवी गायत्री छंद सात्विकट्टारिक पीठ स्थित श्रीमत्कामेशरांक निल श्रीमत्कामेशरी देवता ऐं बीज क्लीं शक्ति सौ कीलक श्रीदेवी प्रीत्यर्घे खटक सिद्ध्यर्घे जपे विनियोग गुरूर्ब्रह्म गुरूर्ष्णु गुरूर्देव महेश्वर गुरूर्साक्षा परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ऐं अंगुष्ठाभ्या नम क्ली तर्जनीभ्या नम सौ मध्यमाभ्या नम सनामिकाभ्या नम क्ली कनिष्ठकाभ्या नम ऐं करतलकृष्ठाभ्या नम हृदयाय नम क्ली शिसे स्वहा सौशिखा वश्यट सौ कवचा क्ली नेत्रय वस्त्राय पट भूर्भुवस्वर हियर अगेन टू टेल यू टाइम एंड अगेन आई एम ट्राइंग टू इनवोक श्री देवी और कामेश्वरा और कामेश्वरी इनवोकिंग दट गुरु स्क्रेस बाय वे ऑफ गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्मे श्री गुरव नम एंड गायत्री छंदा दैवी गायत्री छंदा गायत्री देवता बीइंग द प्राइमरी गॉडस एंड ब्रह्म सत्यम जगत मिथ्या ब्रह्म इव जीवो ना पर ब्रह्म बीइंग सत्य जगत बीइंग मिथ्या ब्रह्म बीइंग द ट्रू ट्रू नेचर ऑफ द मल्टाइवर्स जगत बीइंग द इल्यूजनरी एंड डेल्यूजनरी वर्ल्ड ब्रह्म इव जीवो ना पर Before even doing this, I mangusta bhyam namaha klim tarjani bhyam namaha sau madhyama bhyam namaha. I mangusta bhyam namaha klim tarjani bhyam sau madhyama sau anamika bhyam namaha klim kanista ka bhyam namaha. All of these I am doing because this body, so called, is. a godly element in itself to tell anything divine one needs to have that divine grace 
that's where you will be getting the energy source. That's the reason why I am doing this rituals before starting my lecture. Now, Padha ta padha 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 this is where actually like when I pronunciate or uh, pronunciate or enunciate the Sattasvaras, it will directly take me to the subject where I am trying to explain the very concept of consciousness and its transformation. When I say transformation, why should I be talking about transformation? Are we not a transformed human beings? One will be having that question. No, we are not transformed human beings. If we are thinking, then we are insane thought human existent. Understand this. See, why should this transformation begin at the conscious level? You may say, Sir, you should have explained this much further before uh, talking about uh, cosmic consciousness, center of cosmic consciousness and uh, unity with whole and transcendency and portal to spiritual world and psychology, neurology, spirituality and uh, philosophy, perceptions of times and time and reality. See, initially one needs to have that introduction to understand very nature of our uh, uh, reference to context. That is human existence or the human body as a whole directly or indirectly to that multiverse. Before not even understanding that, if we are directly getting into this transformation aspect at conscious level to reach to that uh, celestial level, forget about getting to that abysmal zone. It wouldn't make any sense. The transformation over here is there are n number of thoughts that that are there in the uh, you know bahir bahir mukha bahir mukha or bahia bahia vastha. which impact our vision, which we see with our eyes and which we perceive or which we perceive, you can say, and thus creating that perception, that human perception and thus that seed starts sprouting Understand this, ladies and gentlemen. You may ask, Sir, you are using uh, Brahma Satyam Jagat Mitya Brahma Iva Jeeva Namparha and Antar Mukha Samaradhyaya Bhair Mukha Sudurlabha to understand that Brahma Satya or the reality of Brahman Consciousness The delusionary and delusionary nature of Jagat 
or this world this internal world or the external internal world and external world both of these and brahma eva that brahman consciousness jivo naparaha that means that brahman if that brahman is existing this jiva will exist if brahman is not existing this jiva will not exist understand this ladies and gentlemen it's a very hard concept again this is where the yoga and yuga aspect comes into picture i was speaking about drik drishya viveka right drik and drishya happens here the drashta aspect happens here yoga and yuga you need to understand both of this and yoga and yuga drishya also needs to be understood the point is this transformations definition as a whole means the very aspect of your travel your thoughts travel with the time and space as your what you call uh, predeterminants two determinants which happens in yoga starts creating that environment deep within and thus the change happens in the mind where in 65 billion neurons which are there starts working immediately what is happening over here this transformation which i am talking about is the that yoga avastha or yoga nidra avastha or yoga drashta avastha or yuga drishya avastha yuga drashta avastha starts creating those frequencies that's when the whole of the body starts creating vibrations deep within wherein we have 72000 nadis and 16500 nadis work and this 65 billion neurons which directly get connected to that 100 billion galaxies at metaverse level at multiverse level creates that thought process in your mind that is the reason why i say this mind study is a very complex study and this is where when uh, kameshwari asked kameshwara to understand you what should we do he st- he said only one thing you need to understand line by line of the word line by line of the alphabet and this is the actual human existence as a whole when the transformation which starts happening at a conscious level 
this is where you start getting connected to that Kameshwara and Kameshwari or that God or you get in convergence or in confluence with that multiverse. I may have explained you. I explained you because I have experienced it as an experience are an experience see. Understanding that guna and uh, this uh, guna and nirguna aspect creator and destroyer aspect The point is when these thoughts start uh, you know happening right this amazing transformation which I am talking at, at conscious level this amazing transformation which happens at higher level higher conscious level start showing those results by transforming the those frequencies acting as modulators and demodulators acting as modulation and demodulation and this is where the science of sound so called saptasvaras come into picture I know it's a very hard concept to understand this human brain and its connection to this. One needs to understand that connection part, this human brain's connection to the multiverse. Again I go back to that 65 billion neurons getting connected to that 100 uh, billion galaxies at multiverse. The multitude of the multitude or uh, that uh, you know that transformation multitude or the transformation at minuscule level which we are looking at which is a common goal cast and aim cast of the human existence realistically which can be said like which can be termed as happiness aspect happiness or the contentment aspect is what referred to as Transformation begins at consciousness level. That feeling, that inner feeling, outer feeling, antar mukha and bahir mukha. And this is practically possible. This was made practically possible in cross reference to this was practically made possible in cross reference to Natya Shastra again. and this is the reason why I say one needs to understand the Appaurishaya aspect only then you would be able to understand this transformation aspect of the human existence or the human psyche at the psychology, parapsychology and psychosis level at conscious level holistically and this is 
in reference to the intuition and intuition at metaphysical existence and non existence level. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. And I am speaking about like you know, it is not even introduction. This is exactly what this why we actually uh, this Vedic chanting. Uh, uh, what exactly Vedic chanting does to the body, mind, and soul as a whole? It acts as a modulator and demodulator, and. It is benefactor for the transformation of the human existence at a conscious level. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Thus, I conclude this video with a positive note. Stay blessed. Have a real blissful life. May the Guru's grace be with all. Have a nice day ahead.